so we're going in tonight. Here we go. What is it? A box of old junk from the garage? Well, one man's junk is another man's detective security stuff. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. Just use your imagination. OK, then. Like wearing a pair of rubber dinghies on your head. Very funny. What is this? Polaroid camera. We'll glue a lever onto the shutter, some fishing line for a tripwire, and bingo, instant proof. Take a picture of a ghost and we'll be millionaires. No, Red. Oh. There you are, sweetheart. Hello, Red. Hi. I wondered if you might like a hot drink each. Not just now, thanks, Mum. Oh, OK, then. It's just that it might be time for winding down on a school night. It's quarter to five. Is it? I'm so used to getting home late from work. Well, you can carry on playing, then, if you like. We're not playing, Mum. What are you doing, then? Mm, collecting stuff for a school hobbies night. I didn't know anything about that. Oh, it was so boring. I never thought to tell you. And what's the hobby? Torches? Surveillance equipment. Oh, lovely. Well, if you change your mind and feel like telling me about your day, I'll be in the kitchen. OK. Bye, Mum. Bye, Mrs Moon. They get older and their brains turn to mush. <laughs> OK. We need to get on our bikes. Next stop, St Jerome's. All seemed quiet, although Quint's car was still there. So we headed round the back of the old science block. I kept a lookout while Red looked for a way in. set up before it gets dark. I'll vote me back off. What kind of monster has... Cover me. I'm going in. Freaky bacon. bacon. Sharky. Moon. You're not meant to be here. Exactly. Well, you found your ghost. It's me. Devlin saw the red recording light from my camera.
Yeah. So what was the screaming noise he said he heard? Aha! Uh -huh. Plus, he was screaming like a girl too. That's what the others must have heard. We heard screaming about seven o'clock. We were cycling down the back lane. We went straight home, in case it was Mr Pickle's ghost. Fitz and Mrs Quinn, they stay late, night after night. They're up to something, and I'm going to get the evidence. What for? Sounds like blackmail. Why? I'll take care of this, thank you very much. You know the rules, you get it back in one week. So I can get Skull of Doom back from Fitz and all my other games. I've got to get that game back, and all I need is a clear shot. Look, there's Quinn. Stick it out. Go on, stick the microphone out. Go, go. Wait. You've been at her, Mr. Gates. <laughs> now it's your turn to show how you jump, spin, and kick. Ah, yes. <sighs> Just think, one more level, and we can collect the skull. The, the skull of doom. They're playing my game. How about I lend you this tape? I'm sure Fitz will be very interested. My phone's working again. I knew there was no curse. It was so obvious. I found my lucky hair bobble. <laughs> Little Ralph Devlin. From zero to hero to zero again in five days. My dad runs a novelty shop. That's not the same as having a personality, though. Can I interest anyone in a copy? No, thanks. No? Ugh. You promised Moon you keep this anonymous. You better not let Quinn see this. Like there's any chance of that. No one's interested in reading it. Who's for telling the truth now? And look where that got me. I'm you! What are you doing tonight, then? Dad's out, so Mum's playing the quality time cards. <laughs> Making popcorn and watching the DVD. We used to do that. I don't know what Mum did to the popcorn. It was always nicer than Dad's. Mr Pickles, he's back. Looks like you solved it, Moon. Not betting everyone went in. <laughs> it's time we took this thing seriously, Moon. You always told me if you close your mind, you can never close a case. We're the evidence before you. And expect the unexpected. It can't do any harm. OK. We're going back in. <laughs> there you are, Fletcher. Now, what time do you want to settle down tonight? Seven o'clock? Um, I'm afraid I couldn't get that film you wanted, so I got The Sound of Music instead. Oh, well, that case... <laughs> Just teasing. I got your film eventually. Had to search all over town, mind you. And guess what? Mum. Pecan flavoured popcorn. Your favourite. It is your favourite. Well, that's a relief. You know, I can't remember the last time we had a night together, just you and me. Mwah. Great. Now what? I didn't want to let Mum down. What do I do? Hi, Red. Just to say, on second thoughts, it's off tonight. We'll admit defeat on this one and become a laughing stock. What's that? Why? Oh, because my mum bought pecan flavoured popcorn and it is my very favourite. I think not. Beardstein, give me a clue. Sometimes, stepping hard on the bad guys means stepping on the good guys too. It's called collateral damage. Every detective has let down a loved one to close a case. Nobody said this game was a picnic. Thanks a bunch. 